When Michael J. Doonesbury and the residents of Walden Commune left the funny pages of American newspapers last year, Pulitzer Prize winning cartoonist Gary Trudeau promised they would be back. Well, they are, singing and dancing in a new musical that has just opened on Broadway. The show depicts life at Walden just prior to graduation. And in the scene we're about to see, Roland Burton Headley, Jr., intrepid television reporter and BD fearless football hero, are discussing BD's impending pro football career and a possible big money contract. So, you're going to be playing with the Seahawks, huh? I guess you'll be making quite a fair piece of change, too. Hey, you better believe it, buddy. <laughs> well, that counts for something these days, son. There's a new ball game in town, you know. It's called Making It. And we've got the big gift to thank for bringing it all back in style. If he's done nothing else, the president's made it fun to be rich again. Well, what's the point otherwise? Fifty years of liberal guilt is enough! <laughs> Those ghetto types get all the breaks, rent control and food stamp stakes. Time we close that welfare zoo where ne'er-do-wells are well-to-do. Give it back to those folks which had the good sense to be rich. Folks who aren't ashamed to say, I've got bucks and I'm okay. It's the right time to be rich. It's the right time. Time to make the switch. What you leave on your plate would feed a family of eight. You only have the best goodwill. We'll pick up the rest. The right time to have a buck. It's a bad time to drive a truck. And you're not to blame for just playing the game. As long as you don't perform real work, you're allowed to go berserk. The right time to take pains, not to pay on capital gains. The guy who loads the dice on his broker's advice, he's where the buck should stop. The lonely guy at the top, the right time to remedy. Sing all melodies of those good times when we took a read. Ladies and gentlemen, Muffy and the Topsiders. Bean. And you play Roland, of course, the intrepid right. TV reporter, right? Right. All right. 
Now let me move over here. You also have a Keith. Your last name is tough, so you've got to help me. Sarabica. Sarabica. Right. All right, and you play BG. Right. I, I try to. And this, of course, <laughs> this of course is Michael Doonesbury. Let me slip right in the middle here. Michael Doonesbury, and um, but your real name, Ralph Bruno. Ralph Bruno. Yes. All right, and. Uh, Help me. Uh, my name is Albert Macklin, and I play Zonker Harris. Of course, I knew Zonker right away. And I saw you in my favorite year, weren't you? Mike Lynn. Yes. Mark Lynn Baker. Mark Lynn Baker. Yes. And you play Mark. Did you play yes, him? Mark Slackmeyer. <laughs> and Laura Dean, you're the easiest. You're Boopsy, and I can tell yeah. anyway. I'm Boopsy. Yeah. <laughs> my name is easy to pronounce, too. <laughs> you know, I saw you when you, were, when you came in for rehearsal, and you had frizzy hair. You don't look at all like I you know. do now. Brown, frizzy, curly hair that I didn't wash this morning. It's so. <laughs> very quick question for for Michael Doonesbury. Give us a little bit of the storyline very quickly. Uh, it concerns uh, actually the people in the Walden uh, commune growing up and uh, facing their lives ahead of them. And there's a subplot about uh, Zonker's uncle Duke, who's on uh, trial for cocaine charges. Oh. And it, it just uh, <laughs> morning television. Thank you for being with us. I'm sorry I couldn't talk to you a little bit longer. Do you have to be a Doonesbury fan to love this? No, not at all. Terrific. All right. Thank you.